Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Alright, today we are going to do some more gumball machines. So, those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so happy that you found my channel and a lot of you are because of this video. The gumball machines that we made last year. Y'all, these, these gumball machines are from last year, Valentine's Day. But they're so cute, and you see that I have mine filled with the little heart marshmallows from Dollar Tree and a Dollar Tree little ribbon. So this is how I have mine decorated this year. So I know a lot of you are having trouble finding the supplies that I used. So I just kept walking around Dollar Tree until I found some other things that would work. So we are going to make some more gumball machines. So, we are going to make some gumball machines that are going to be like tier trade size. They're going to be perfect for tier trays. Or so, if you don't have like a tier tray or like a hutch or shelves in your kitchen or wherever, decorate a windowsill. I seriously, in our kitchen windowsill, like right here behind you, I have the conversation topiary, like big tall tree that we made. I have it sitting on a windowsill and it looks so cute. Okay, so we are going to use... <laughs> These are plastic, they're called tumblers, tumblers or goblets. You get 10 of them. This is in like the fancy plastic, you know, the, the Dollar Tree has. So we're gonna use these right here. And yes, they are plastic, but it's for decor. You know, this is gonna be like on a tier tray or a shelf or something, but it's gonna look adorable when we're done. So we're gonna use this right here. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Yeah, see, it's just this little, clear little cup, just a little cup, I guess like a little punch cup, but we're going to use this, and this right here, can you tell that, this little craft jar, this is a little craft little jar, it's called a craft bottle, this is from the crafter square section, so it's just this little shape right here, it's got a little lid, so whatever you put in here will stay fresh, so we're going to use this right here, so we're going to use these two things, to make a gumball machine. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna like recreate this right here, this pink one. So I'm gonna take, this is, um, Folk Art is the brand, and it's called Baby Pink. So I'm gonna use this paint right here. I think this, I think this is from Hobby Lobby, but you can use any paint that you want, or if you have spray paint, it's, <laughs> spray paint's a lot faster, but we're gonna use this. And we're going to paint the bottom. We're going to paint this whole entire cup. Now, if you want, you can do the inside. I'm going to go ahead and paint the outside. And I am just going to use a basic foam brush from Dollar Tree. And the best part is, when you're done, you can pop the little head off and make you a mini rolling pin using this little wooden, because it's wood. This right here is wood. You can make you a little wooden rolling pin for your shelves or tear trays. Okay, so as always, I'm going to take Riley's Avengers mat that I always paint on. Okay, and we're just going to paint this whole little cup pink. Alright, so I'm just going to stick my hand up inside the cup. Get a bunch of paint onto my foam Dollar Tree paintbrush. And I'm just going to paint this cup. Okay, I'm just going all the way around it and I'm just going to paint. I'm even painting the top too. Because like I said, it's clear so you'll see it. Because the little jar is clear so you'll see down into it. Right. So I'm just going to paint this really quick. But then we're all just the camera. That way you can see exactly what to do. Okay. So like I said, just real quick. I'm just going to paint a good coat onto my cup. Okay, so now that we have our base coat. I am going to take my blow dryer, y'all. <laughs> Like, uh, if you saw the video the other day, I tell you, a blow dryer when you're painting and crafting is your best friend because it makes everything move so much faster. So I'm just going to take my basic hair. This is my hair blow dryer that I use all the time. And I'm going to blow dry this really quick so I can do my second coat. So, okay. Okay, so now that this is good and dry, I'm going to do a couple more coats until I get it really coated. And then we'll move on and take to the next step. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera. That way you can see exactly what to do. Okay, so this nail has three coats of this pink. 
baby pink paint. So you see, and look how well it covered. So this is three coats. You can always go for four if you want, but I think this looks so good. And it's very close. Oh my gosh, that is like almost the exact same color, even though it's not. Okay, so that. Now, also, I didn't even think about it. We're gonna paint our lids. <laughs> And if you saw this video, I forgot to paint the lid in the video. So it's something with me and lids. But you can see, yes, it is painted and it looks so much better painted. So, okay, same thing with this. I'm just gonna pop this off and I'm gonna go ahead and paint this lid too. And this will also need a couple coats. This once again, like this, like spray paint would be your best friend. But we're just gonna use this little paint that we have. I'm gonna use one of my little shish kebab sticks from the, uh, when we did the little blocks the other day, just to kind of hold that down. Okay, so this also has three coats of that pink paint on it. So let's put this on there, see what that looks like. All right, look how cute. Now Okay, so another option I think that would add a lot to it is like putting like a little bead or marble or something up here, kind of like is the top of the, the gumball machine. So I have one of these little signs from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree lately has been putting like these little beads, these little wooden beads onto a lot of their signs. So I'm just gonna take one of these off here. Okay. I'm just gonna take one of these little wooden beads and it's got a hose on it. So what I personally, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna kind of fill in that hoe. So see that little hole right there where the twine was? I'm just going to squeeze some hot glue just to fill that in. Can you see that? <laughs> see right there. I'm just gonna fill that little hole in just so I can paint over it. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side. Just that little hole right there. I'm just gonna squeeze enough hot glue to kind of give like a nice little flat head. Just like that. So then once I paint it, you won't even see that. Okay, so now that this is completely dry and it's cool to the touch, I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna hot glue it onto the center of our little top here, and I think that'd be the best way to paint it. So, right here, right in the center, I'm just gonna put a little dab of hot glue. Just like that, and I'm gonna put this little bead right here in the center of that. And then just hold that down and let that dry. See that? That is now hot glued on there. And you can see where I got the little hot glue on the sides. We're now gonna paint that and cover that up. Okay, I'm just gonna paint that little bead. Just like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this top a whole coat too. Okay, so now we have that little ball or little bead hot glued onto the top. Now let me tell you, um, it sticks better when there's not paint on there. So if you're gonna use a little bead, hot glue it before you paint the whole thing. Um, so now we're just gonna pull this little sticker off and we're gonna hot glue this onto the top of our cup. All right. So all I'm gonna do for this, I'm gonna put hot glue around the bottom and you'll kind of see like raised kind of ring. I'm gonna put the hot glue on that. And I'm just gonna go all the way around it. There we go. I'm gonna set this on here. I'm gonna hold that down and then let that dry. Okay. All right, you ready? Here's the test. <laughs> all right. It's stuck. Okay, look how cute. Okay, so now this right here is full of these heart marshmallows from Dollar Tree, or 
You could use you some um, conversation hearts. You could use some Hershey Kisses, some M&Ms, whatever you want. Or if you don't even want candy, you could do something like these little hearts from Dollar Tree. It's just little like foamy glittery hearts. All right, so what we're gonna do is, because we're trying to recreate this, I'm just gonna take this. Our little lid back on. Okay, and then this ribbon is this right here from Dollar Tree. It has the little cut out hearts like all on the sides, all along the edges of it. I'm just gonna wrap this around and then just tie a cute little bow. Let me just tell you, if you use this ribbon, you gotta be a little patient with it because the way the hearts are cut out, they wanna like cling to each other. They keep getting stuck. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cut that off right there. Turn that up a little bit. Okay. Oh my gosh, look how cute. <laughs> Bailey's in there shaking. Look how cute. Now, you do not have to use this pink marshmallows. You don't have to use this ribbon. But if you happen to get a little messy with your hot glue, putting a ribbon around it is a great way to camouflage that. What? Okay, look. The big gum bomb machine we made last year. And then now this cute one. I love it. So easy, so cute. Another option is if you found this cute little gumball machine from Dollar Tree, y'all, this was adorable. You could do the exact same thing to this. You could keep it this pink color. You could paint this. Or if you like that look, take this and just fill this up with all of these marshmallows or, you know, any candy. Let's just put a bunch in here. And I'm just kind of grabbing these and kind of mixing up the pink and the white. Once again, I'm making sure that I put my heart, because I'm holding it upside down, so I'm putting my hearts in upside down. Okay, so now that I have this full, once again, I'm just gonna screw that back on. Okay, and then look at that. Look how cute that is. Once again, you can take that same ribbon and just tie this around here, doing the exact same thing. Just loop it around and just tie you a basic little bow, just like you're tying your shoe. This ribbon can be a little frustrating to work with. Okay, and then seriously, look how cute that is. And all you did to this was add you some of those little marshmallows and a cute little bow. So cute, and this is gonna be adorable out on display. Okay, y'all, seriously, look how cute and how easy these were to make. Um, if you have not seen the video where we made this big one, uh, like I said, this was from last year, but I will link it for you. I'll link it down in the description box, and I'll also put it at the very end of this video. So all you have to do is when this video goes off, you just click onto that one. Or you can go to my page and just type in, um, gumball machine and it'll pop up. I have a playlist of Valentine's Day, but they're so cute. And let me just tell you, you can make these any color you want. Well, not this one. This is a little bit more. This would be a little bit harder because it's like tinted pink, but these two right here, if you make these, you can paint these any color and you get 10 of the little cups. So you can make you 10 different ones. It's just a matter of finding like the little jar or the little craft bottle. But I'm telling you, they're adorable and they're so much fun to decorate with. Like, um, I also have a white one. We did a white one when we did this. I decorate it for every holiday. Um, and I don't usually do a video, but I'm gonna start doing that. That way you can see the way I decorate with them. But instead of doing pink, you can make you a white one, a red one, a black one. You could do a yellow one for like lemon decor. A black one would be perfect and actually we're gonna do a black one for um, St. Patrick's Day. 
But you can do that for St. Patrick's Day, for Halloween, um, for bees. Like if you do like bee decor during the summertime, a black one would be really cute. So, but, all right. <laughs> I just, that's it. I was just sitting around the house. Um, we had an ice storm, so all the schools were canceled. Um, I just figured, hey, let's make something cute. So, but all right, several more videos to come. Um, St. Patrick's Day stuff. So if you're into St. Patrick's Day, we're gonna do some we're gonna do some crafts for that. Yesterday, we did some reversible. One side was Valentine's Day, the other side was St. Patrick's Day. So you get like two for one. So I will also link that video for you. And if you can kind of see, I have some of them back here. But, but okay. So if you think that these are cute and that you're gonna recreate these, make sure you give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think. So, but okay. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.